Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to back to Never Ending Nightmares. This is part two of the series we are currently doing. Let's gonna get straight into it, as always. Yeah, that's where we were last, we ended that episode last. In a containment cell. Also, I um, I don't know if I kept it, if I added it in the last episode, but it turns out the creator has asthma. Hence why, I don't think I want to go out there. I guess I don't have a choice. Turns out that um, the creator has asthma and that's why he's constantly breathing. Oh god. Someone's going to jump scare us, I know for a fact. Cell 4, cell 5. No, we're fine. Block A security. So 1. Oh, I don't like it at all, I really don't. No one's not lockable through. <laughs> My god, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Medical reception. That was horrible. I mean, I prefer it going sideways than jumping up at the screen. That would have been more horrible. Dispensary. Hydrotherapy and block here, rule free. Let's go to hydrotherapy first. That's a big tub. Hydrotherapy like... Use of water, maybe? You can show yourself. No need to be shy. The other guy showed me his face. Block B security. <clears throat> so I've noticed he's in his he's in his pajamas. I think. Okay, well there's nothing there. Bloody handprint, but nothing to look at. Sorry about that, just had to wipe up some spell on my desk. Got my pop. Okay, now he's trailing blood. I don't think I want to know what's actually in these cells, but at the same time, I am very curious. Okay, so it looks like we got a... Well, this is storage. But the other room was like... Scene room? Arsenal capsules. It might actually say... A cocaine drink. I just know for a fact... Arsenic capsules.
I'm assuming that's what they want me to do. Obviously, his eyes are so in shot, so. Maybe it's only when he stops. I was gonna say, it's probably gonna be like something like, um... I would go up to one of the windows and I would actually see what's in the cell, so like... Because the previous two cells, like, the bashed, whatever was in them bashed on the wall, so I was assuming I would look through the cell door and there would be something there that would jump scare us, but guess not. I hear another one. God. Dude's agile. Yeah, so I assume when he stops and locks, that's when he stops. Fuck. God. He's taller than the other ones. Oh shit. Not this guy, how am I gonna get past him if he's like... I'm assuming I need to go down a bit. Jesus Christ, I cannot see what he's doing because of my camera. So I know what they represent. I'm gonna go up. Okay, I regret. Oh, I still on glass. So don't stand on glass. Not that I noticed it was there, but... <laughs> How the hell am I meant to get across that? I'll be back when I figure it out. Because it turns out I just haven't uh, walk further down. No, I'll not be able to look through these doors because I don't think it's worth it. I think it's going to be the same. Bro, pick a side, please. Thank you. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run! Go, 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 go! Jesus Christ. So 
still looks the same and further and further, really. Glass bit bloody. I don't know why I'm assuming that, like, wake up, show us. I don't know why I'm assuming that they weren't going to be there, but it worked on my favour, so I kind of complain. <clears throat> Holy shit. Okay, so I'm out of gas. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to wait for him to walk all the way across. And it'll be my turn. Should be able to walk him. Shit, I didn't check that door. Okay, same strat. Wait for him to walk across and then go through him. Okay, never mind, I guess I'm up to fall on. God damn it, you fucking dickhead. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. So, this is my little hiding spot. And as soon as he walks past us, I walk past him. Okay, row five. They just get more and more bloody. That's the um the comparison I'm seeing between them. Fuck. I thought I was dead there. Everything is a lie. Let's try walk away. Run! to address me as Dr. Smith. But you're my sister. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Where... where am I? You're in a lunatic asylum and have been for quite some time. Why am I here? Why do you think you're here? I don't know. We've reached the end of our session. Please see yourself out. What is even going on? My god, why have you forsaken me? I thought maybe interacting with that thing would have stopped the monster coming, but I guess not. So 
thought was, my God, why have you forsaken me? Bro, what did you want me to do? Okay, so I'm assuming... How are you meant to get past him? I'm just assuming there's a little hole in the middle here. But yeah, he just keeps getting too close. Okay, so... It's one of the most annoying things, but you meant to step on that and walk up a bit. Okay, well it didn't work there, but you meant to step on that, walk up, and then he's meant to run towards it to look for you. How I was meant to get that, I don't know. Wake up. How that guy managed to figure it out, I do not know either. Dreams are the enemy of the guilty. Everything is a lie. I thought I would said that. Now you'll never escape. Fucking hell. Huh? What? Honey, go back to sleep. Uh, uh, why am I in bed with my sister? What are you talking about? I'm your wife. But. Oh, I... You don't even have a sister. I... I... I thought... I'm worried about you. Why don't you get a glass of milk to calm your nerves? Okay. Fair enough. I'm glad he wasn't, like, um... Chill about it. I'm glad he was actually questioning... Why they were in bed with each other. But, uh. Was that actually how you stop someone from moving? You, you cut the, the back of the angles. Married your sister, why not? Because if that is actually how you do it, that is absolutely disgusting. I... Ugh. Still can't understand that. Maybe translate it to actually something that it's... It'll probably translate to something. But I don't have the time... ...to actually log in there. Where I would translate that. I don't even know where I would start. But if anyone knows if that would actually stop you from escaping, like, please let me know. I'd. But like, I don't know if one for one. I know. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, wake up. I'm kind of scared to know the answer if that will stop you. I mean, growing up, Zombieland, the first one, before the second one was announced, the bone crush scene with them, is it... Cumberland? 
I think that's his name. I remember Tallahassee, but I don't remember the other guy. I think it was like Cumberland or something. But when he crushes the woman's ankle, well, I said woman, the zombie's ankle, that traumatised me. Glass of milk always helps. What? Listen to your sifter. Your sifter. Wife plus sister equals sifter. I'm assuming I just need to get back to the the room, so what's that noise? She thought she was a mini version of Pyramid Head, Jesus Christ. So how am I going to get past you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no way to run. Yeah, I don't think there is anywhere to run though, that's the thing. Maybe if I summon her. And then... Go through this door. Okay. So, I got a d I'm on a different ending. Maybe I shouldn't have done this ending. But I didn't know what else to do, really. Oh, she's gone. That's good. So, problem solved. Yeah, the guy I was looking at there, he fell off the, the end of the asylum. I went through the door. Wait again. I want to make you pretty cool looking. I like you. You know, I like Pyramid Head. I enjoyed Silent Hill too. So you're pretty cool in my book. Which, when it comes out, I will be, I will be, um, recording that. One hundred percent, it's a must record in Silent Hill Two. It was only recently that I actually finished Silent, Silent Hill Two. I merely finished it just to see the comparison for Silent Hill Two's original and the remake. Well, not just that. I also had like I've had the game. The Silent Hill HD collection for like four years, and I never got around to playing it. This guy's got a big ass house. Oh, he keeps looking back behind over his eyes. Oh no, buddy.
Not too sure I'm gonna be able to see her. <laughs> sure. God. <laughs> that was a flash of light I was not expecting. Was that my wife turn in chains? Oh, motherfucker. Whoa. Something tells me what I'm about to get is the bad ending. Was that meant to represent her having a baby? What if it's not even his sister that he keeps saying? What if it's his uh, wife's doll? Oh, fuck. Oh. Ugh. Nah. Uh-uh. Okay, this is where I would have ended the episode, but... I'm pretty sure this is like right at the end of the game, so let's just continue on. I doubt anyone's actually watching up to this point in the video, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, if you're watching right now, if you've made it this far, why not drop a um a comment and I'll get back to it. I appreciate you watching this far. Please don't grab me. Or spring your eyes open. Yeah, let's be honest, let's just not do anything at all, you know? Nothing scary, let's just have a happy ending, please. Place your bed, smile, or oh, sad. No blink stone. Oh, motherfucker. I wish they told me you were gonna be there. Ooh. We go in the same way, I see. Not anymore, thank God for that. I hate the symbolism of that picture though, like the lumberjack and the picture of the sister. Like that just implies like that's how she died. Karen Marie, Gillen Jabach, Ian Craggy, Cindy Owl, Lenwood Smith, Maria, Ligony, My Savings. I don't know whether a laugh or if that's meant to be like sad. Michael Schwoen, Edgar. Sorry. Edgar Gleanston. Johnston, Sebastian, Bob Ball, Hello Sister, Kevin Clark, Shun, Coddery, Fiona Munster, Johnny Rivers, John Olick, Jorben Kamstra, Steve Wales, Eddie Hockenberger, Sarah Northway, Alex Edgar, Gabriel Black, Don Edgecombe, Hello again Sister, Brian Connors, Sakura Takia, Jared Cooperband, Adam Sizzler, Jordi Escobar, Kevin A. Smith, and my sister, three times. I know that probably might be really dark, but...
I really don't understand what's going on. Like this entire game. I know it's about like the writer's depression and whatnot, but it just doesn't make sense. Trying to understand God again. Like I'm trying to understand this. But I just don't. Like, it's a guy about trying to get over his loss of his sister, I think that's what it's meant to imply, but... Without context, it really doesn't make sense to me. And we're back here. Like, I do, I do enjoy these meaningful games, like, one of my favourite, um, like, psychological, um, focus on emotions game is, um, a game called Sea of Solitude. Like, I'm pretty sure, oh, not you again. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those things where I need to run when he gets to us. Um, the the big weird lady, like the one with the shell, she represents depression, I think. The big fish, anxiety, and the mother and dad. Were big monsters. And then the final boss in a way, the the boyfriend, when he was getting touched, well every piece that fell off him represented his doubts and his depression about how he doesn't want to live. Like that, that made sense, like... <clears throat> I could fully understand that game. And that is why it's one of my top, like, one of my top favourite, like... Um, emotion related... Ooh, teddy bear. Games. Highly recommend it. It's called Sea of Solitude. I'll put up a picture of it. I really hope there's a sequel. Oh god, getting more and more bloody. I was gonna walk right through that door and not even notice you. I don't know if noticing you was the best thing for me. I'm gonna grab his cannon, that's just gonna be like horrifying what I'm about to see.
But the thing about Sea of Solitude, it doesn't... It's not horror based. It's... I mean, the monsters can be scary. Especially the little, um, flying girl. Oh god, dead by daylight in here. But that's obviously a talk for another day. This, this is this game. It's its own game. I'm not gonna bash the creator for making this. You know, there is probably people who understand this game. Personally, I'm not one of them, but that's my problem. Well, I love the design of the little girl with the cut mouth and the big pyramid head ass sword. I like that. Oh god, what the hell am I going into? What? Dear Thomas, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. You can't talk me out of it. I still love you, but I just can't be with you anymore. Losing our daughter was hard on me too, yet I'm trying to move on. Your life didn't end, so why can't you live it? I hope you can get past this tragedy eventually, I really do. I guess this is goodbye. Love, Gabrielle. So was his daughter the entire time that he kept saying. God, that was good. Wait, so... There's a different ending. Okay, so there is more to this game. I am... Considering this is, this is only two episodes and I want to make this like a three episode series. I will come back to this soon to get the other ending or how many other endings there are. I might get all three. I'll check. So there are three endings, but yeah, I'll do it. 100%. Well, there was Nightmare Begins, The Coming Storm, Lost Child, Insanity, Together at Last, Final Descent. And these two branch off into their own little endings. So I'll have I'll leave that for the next episode. Hope you enjoy what you've seen today. And if you want to see more videos like this or other games I've played, I'll leave links in the description as always. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.